Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady for you guys. Happy, happy Tuesday to each and every one of you. I hope you're having a great day. I'm having an amazing day thus far, you guys. I wanted to take the time to make a video, guys, for my beginners and for those that need to be brushed up on your skills, okay, when it comes to gift basket designing. I know that I have been rushing through videos, trying to get things done so that I could get caught up for Easter. But today I said, I'm going to slow down for my beginners, for those that are just starting their gift basket business. And they're quite unsure what to do, you guys. First of all, let me tell you guys that are just meeting me that's new to the Boss Buddy Clan. I have been doing gift baskets for almost 25 years, you guys. I have been in business for myself for 25 plus years, okay? So I want to let you guys know that I want to bring what I know to the table to those of you that are new following me. If you are new, guys, make sure that you go back and watch my old videos. Some of my old videos when I first came on YouTube, which was about two years ago, will be very, very informative for beginners when i first started i slowed down a bit you know because i was new to youtube and then new to my community and as time went on and as the demand for my products increased i sped things up a little bit okay so some of my videos i do not go from point a to z in each and every video but this particular video i wanted to slow down for my brand new boss buddies and let you guys know how to design a gift basket from point a to z okay so hey guys it's easter why not design an easter basket stay tuned okay you guys so i said from a to z right so we're gonna skip past point 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 a which would be wrapping our box but I am going to put in the description below the video to show you for my mom to show you guys how she wraps my box, how she wrapped my boxes. Okay. These are just ordinary boxes that I get from any store. I don't know what size this box is. I get various sizes of boxes because I do so many different gift baskets. And, um, this is a actual, just a regular box that I got and I had my mom to wrap it up. And once I wrapped it up, I, you will see on all of my videos, I always use newspaper as the stuffing, okay? It's free for me. Whatever you have free or inexpensive, that's what you can use. But you want to use something that's not going to mash down over time, okay? I know some people have mentioned that they have issues with newspaper um, settling. Maybe so if you're using the thin sales ads papers but if you're using regular newspaper it should not um you know the consistency of it should not cause your items to shrink down over a duration of time and especially if you put enough newspaper in it okay you'll see this newspaper is stuffed all the way to the top okay so once i get it stuffed to the top i forgot to bring some of this in here so i'm gonna just take it out of this box over here i just get a sheet of gift tissue and put on top okay always keep in mind when you're in business size that you want to do whatever is most economical but also to keep your um basket professional and looking nice but you don't want to invest money in the part of the basket that's going to be thrown away which is everything beneath this surface okay it's going to be thrown away so you don't want to spend money on it unless you just have to okay I know some people get craft paper and different things, and guess what? That's your business, okay? But if you're trying to make a great profit and you want to see um, a increase in your amount of profit, then do um, as least as possible when it comes to building your basket, okay? That being said, we're done with that, okay? So a lot of people's issue is being able to build or stack their items in their basket, okay? The last thing you want is for everything to be the same height, okay? You want to have a staggered effect so that your higher items are up top and your smaller items come down, okay? There's no need to pay money for items that you're not going to be able to see in the basket. If you're, And I know my head is cut off, y'all, but I'm keeping it at this angle because the focus is going to be on the basket, not me, okay? Y'all know I'm beautiful, right? All right. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, so... You um you want you don't want to pay money for items that the people are not going to be able to see. 
So if you got candy in here that's just laying in here, it's serving no purpose. Yes, they're going to be able to eat it when they open it up, but you are selling what they see, okay? People are buying what they see. So you want, if you're using candy, you want to put it in a container or you want to put it in a place in the basket that the people are able to see it. If you're putting toys in there, you don't want to put a big toy in the front and then have something smaller on the back that they're not able to see or able to see visibly, okay, without having to um, shake it around, turn it around, hold it upside down. We don't want that, guys. So when you use a backing for your baskets or your boxes or whatever, it gives you the ability to either take things on the, um, up here or it just gives us a, a sturdy foundation or stable foundation for your items to prop up against, okay? So this is just a regular piece of cardboard that I cut. Some people use foam board. Use whatever you want, whatever you got. I get boxes for free, so I'm going to use cardboard, okay? That's what I use. Every now and then, you may see on some of my videos that I've used foam board, but for the most part, I use what is free to me, okay? That rhyme, I use what is free to me, okay? So, let's get right into it, guys. And what I do is, I use most of the time, not all the time, but I use the same paper that I use to wrap the box. I use that same paper to wrap my cardboard, okay? So we're just going to go in here and cut a piece. I hope y'all are able to see. And what I love about this paper is it goes to both sides, okay? It goes to both sides. So what we're going to do, let me move this out the way first. What we're going to do, and we'll be right back, you guys. Okay, guys, so we have cut the paper to the desired length. And we're all we're going to do is wrap this up. And you just wrap it up like you would normally wrap up a, um, a gift, a box, whatever. Okay. Cut it a little bit short, but it don't matter about this bottom part because it's not going to be shown, okay? It's going to be tucked down in the bottom of the box. So I really didn't even have to cut it this long. Let's do it real neat because it's going to be shown, okay? Cut off any, you know, extra paper that you have. And, of course, you can use it for another piece of cardboard or whatever. Like I said, this part down here is not going to be shown, so you don't have to worry about that as much. I always use clear, transparent tape. Let me show you guys the difference. This is frosted tape. You do not want to use this, okay? When you put this up against cellophane or shrink wrap, you will be able to tell. You see the difference? You cannot see this tape. This tape is a frosted tenant look, okay? We do not want that. I don't even buy that tape. I don't even know where that came from, to be honest with you, but I picked it up a little while ago. I was like, oh, this ain't my tape right here. So you're going to just fold. Oh! <laughs> you're going to just fold the, um, fold the corners, okay? Like an envelope. And just crease it down. Okay, just crease it down. Look, this little thing right here, y'all, it's getting on my everlasting there. I be using it sometimes as a prop when I take, um, a background when I take pictures. Okay. 
Okay. So that's that. All right. See how neat and clean this looks. So all you're going to do is just get your box and slide it behind. Move your tissue. Not your tissue, but your... Um, Newspaper is what I'm trying to say. Move your newspaper up out of the way so that it can fit down good in your box, okay? So let me let you see the back view. And here is the front view, okay? So you got a cute little box all right so now we're going to start building the box and whatever the tallest item is that's what's going to go up here okay i'm not going to tape it down just yet because i want to make sure that everything is at the height that i want it okay and once i see because if this item back here isn't tall enough once you sit it up here all you got to do is put more newspaper in the back part. Leave this at the height that it is. But if you need to build back here some more, just put you some more newspaper up here. And it's going to give this an even more elevated um, effect, okay? But from the looks of it, just for me judging it, it's going to be okay right here, okay? So what we're going to do is put our other items here. Let me show you guys this. If any of you got these Valentine sets from Walmart... This right here said Valentine gift set, right? Just took I took a black um permanent marker and just marked out the word Valentine. Make sure that you are marking those item those words out if you are able to see it. Um if you're putting a sticker over it, that's fine, but me personally, if you're able to mark those items out without it looking tacky or ghetto so to speak, um I would do that, okay? It doesn't matter that something, let's just say, for instance, you didn't cover, color that out. You didn't mark that out. And you had it sitting there and you was like, well, I'm going to have something sitting in front of it. They're not going to be able to see it. No, they're not going to be able to see it until they open it up. You don't want a parent to be like, oh, they're selling me Valentine's stuff for Easter. It's really not that big of a deal, but it can be a big of a deal. It just depends on how picky your customer may be. You don't know if you're selling, you know, alongside the road. You don't know who's going to buy that item. You want to keep customers where they are repeat customers. So anything that's questionable, go ahead and try to fix that before it becomes an issue. Okay. Fix that before it comes an issue. All right. So you see me just pressing down on the paper because I want this item to be a little bit lower. Okay. So I'm pushing down on the paper. All right. And that's giving that look. If I want that to go up some more, I'll, what did I say? Just go back behind there, put some more paper, and elevate that part. And I may do that, okay? We'll see. And this came from Dollar Tree. This came from Walmart. This came from Dollar General. I paid about probably about 40 cents for that game. All right. These came from Walgreens, I think, for just a couple cents. I don't remember how much they were. Okay. So, I'm okay with the height of that. Like I said, if you personally want to make it higher, you can. But I'm going to leave it just like it is. All right. And now we're going to start taping our items down, okay? We're going to start type, taping them down. Just going to tape that to the side. Just a couple places to hold it together.
All right, so it's pretty much done. We're gonna put a little bit more candy in there. Let's stick this happy Easter in there because we definitely wanna put something to say Easter, okay? So we got that. Remember, if you're gonna be selling outside, to try your best to keep your candy heat friendly, okay? Don't wanna use chocolates. You don't wanna use stuff that's um has a possibility to melt. Unless, you know, you're gonna be able to keep it in a cool spot. So that's pretty much complete, guys. All we're going to do is come in and add our Easter grass and wrap it up. And I'm not going to do it on this video because it's getting a little bit long. But I will do it on a short or another video show showing you guys how to um, wrap this. And I'm probably going to use cellophane wrap for this one, okay? If I should sell it online, I will go back. If you didn't get a chance to watch the video yesterday with me showing how I went back and double wrapped, um, just put a piece of shrink wrap across the top of the basket um, so that it will keep everything in place if it's gonna be shipped, okay? If it's gonna be shipped, you definitely wanna use heat wrap, shrink wrap, whatever you call it, to seal your items in place, okay? Cause you can tape it down, but once you get on that mail truck, is not going to stay that way. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. Y'all know what I'm going to say. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Until the next video, bye, y'all.